uh, this is to cover um, exiting beginner mode in the Tell Me Stories app. So beginner mode, in brief, limits you to a single book. So when you want to start working with more than one book, um, the way to get out of beginner mode is to use the plus sign in the upper right, create a new book. And on the page where you create the new book, you deselect a check mark, and that will get you out of beginner mode. And the big change in the app is you'll you'll have a book list. So whenever you go into the app after that, you'll see your list of books, and you have to choose the book you want to work with. So so let's get out of beginner mode. I'm going to create a new book using the plus sign in the upper right, and new book. And the first thing I do here is deselect that check mark. That will end beginner mode. I'm going to tap the gray box and I'm going to talk to give it a title. Out of begin. So there I am no longer in beginner mode. I've created a new book and what I'm going to do at this point before I add any pages to it is I'm going to quickly exit and enter the app. So I'm going to start the app up again. And there you can see this is no longer beginner mode. It tells me about the books I have. And in, and in your case, you only have two books, but I'm going to open up the menu. And again, you can do that by sliding the whole page to the right or using the menu icon in the upper left. So there's my menu. I'm going to list my books. And again, you'll have only two. And the, the one right in the middle there is the one I just created has no pages so I'm going to select that in the list and so here I'm back in my new book and I'm going to quickly create a page in it there I've selected a picture and the the narrative uh, mode here is a little bit different um, I'm no longer keeping a recording that's only in begin mode so here I supply a narrative by tapping on the microphone and talking about the picture that I've selected so I'm going to do that this is giant stadium in the evening in San Francisco. And I hit done in the upper right. And there it's, that's a completed page. It's uh, created the page in the book. So now if I were to go back to the book and, and read the pages in the book, uh, this is the page I would have. Thank you.